day. Mike Milner coming to you today from Ocala, Florida, the E1 facility, where we've had a strong rescue week, uh, starting out with two pre-builds and then finishing with the final on this fine rescue behind me for Port the city of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Power on this truck is a Cummins L9 380 horse, DBS 3000 transmission. This truck is built utilizing extruded aluminum, 18 foot body, and it features a zip D awning for the side, for the street side. Utilizing a Typhoon medium cab with barrier doors, uh, Bostrom seating. We have large slide outs with uh, tool board capabilities for mounting. This one is about a two thirds depth tray with a one third depth tray on the other side. You have your light power controls and generator and breaker box in the lower. This next compartment features a full width bi directional, same similar tray with the tool board on the top. Of course, you have your cord reels, cord reels coming in from the top. Uh, we have a respond ready toolbox in the lower area for equipment. Over the wheel compartment features a large uh, wood panel for uh, trench. Well, some uh, full full width shelving. Rear compartment features some pull up tool boards, as well as some other shelving. Underbody three way receiver in the back for side hitch operation or rear trailer operation, as well as a forward under the bumper uh, winch application up front. On the rear of the truck, the department utilized some large slide master pull outs, and we worked into the top a lumber storage for four by fours. This will handle their long wood so they, it gets it above this, the uh, roll-up door drums on the side of the truck. Zyco Rescue Climb Ladder for access to the rooftop. The rooftop on this truck features a landing at the top of the stair that you can see here, as well as some very large rooftop storage compartments. Some of your side-mounted reels are mounted up in these compartments to clear the compartments below and then they route down through into the compartment through the fair leads at the top. Up top in the forward dunnage area we have a command light tower and a 10kW smart power hydraulic generator rounding out the roof complement. In the wheel wells on this unit you can see we have triple triple storage pods for SCBA or extinguishers. Warning lighting on the truck is all Wayland. Rounding out the front of the truck, you have a center storage compartment, the blow winch receiver that I mentioned, and then of course your sirens. We want to thank you today for visiting with us on this fine rescue. See your local E1 representative, Rev dealership, to see how we can help your community and serve you with one of these fine rescues.